Now, if we come on to the grid again and then go to that side view around here, hit P to get out of that mode, we can now sort of get this into place. Now it's a little bit skinny, so probably I could have made that mask a bit better, but not to fear. Let's just come in here with the, the move brush. And now I can move this around just like the grab brush in Maya. In fact, if you get used to using ZBrush a lot, you'll end up using the sculpt tools in Maya a lot more, I found. And we just want to make that a bit bigger. And we're going to move that right down now. So here is where you get into a few problems because it's not exactly right. And this is where your skill as a sculptor comes in. So it's a little bit like drawing. People can make this look really easy. And it's actually not super easy when you're new to it. But I'm just going to do something rough there. And I'll just go to the top view here. Make it a little bit wider too. So you want to match from all angles always in 3D. Just roughly something like that. Okay. And now in the side view, just come around to there. It's a bit better. Let's just pull up these eyes just temporarily, just to give you an idea of how quickly and easily you can do this. So you can sort of see how easy it is to quickly get in there and, and have a go at modifying this. Now, uh, this is where the downside comes. So when we come in and take that off, you'll see that, okay, it looked great when we were overlaying that, but it didn't look, doesn't look so great now. In fact, with this sort of triangular form or square form there, it's not particularly round. And this is when you're a beginner, this will start to look what I call lumpy. Okay, so it takes a bit of skill to get that back into shape. And what you can do is you can just use the good old clay build up brush with that alpha, alpha six. So I'm gonna do that again. That is the clay build up brush, that one there, just click on it and then go to the alpha six. That will just give you a bit of a smoother feel. Just remember your focal shift is actually negative 56 on this guy. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty low in the negatives. We can just sculpt that up and, and clay build up is a number one sculpting brush. And you can sort of just round out those forms a little bit. Now here we want to bring, bring it up a little bit. And this is where the skill comes in, in the practice of doing lots of sculpts. And you'll see that I've sort of smoothed that out, but the smooth is qu takes quite a long time now because this is such a dense mesh. If we have a look at it again, it's there. And there is no real smooth accelerators in ZBrush. So I found there's no super acceleration mode in ZBrush. There's a couple of things that we can do. One of those is the clay polish, the hitch polish, sorry. So let's have a look at that. But before we do, I'm just going to actually add this polysphere now and combine these guys together. So what we can do is just select that top one and we can go merge down, which the hotkey is Alt D. So just hit Alt D and then we're going to merge that down. Okay. Now this is now one object again, and let's just dynamesh that together again. So you'll see in the mesh looks like that, but if we were to smooth these guys, they're not actually joined. You can sort of see that there. But once we dynamesh this again, now those meshes are physically joined. So we're gonna have a good time of, of bringing those together. So that's done. And a little tip here too, is a lot of times when you're working with dynamesh, uh, 128 for bust is really good, but this guy, he is actually quite a, taking up a lot of the grid size. So usually with a bus, you'll only be about that size. And the Dynamesh at 128 is pretty good. So lowering this setting down to a lower, usually 128 will be fine. But 64 in this example might be a bit better. And we can bring that on. That will just make, turn that background off with Alt-G. That will just make the smooth sort of work a bit faster. Okay, now there's multiple smooth modes and stuff like that. But I'm just going to sort of use the basic modes here. And lots of little hidden tricks in ZBrush, but you can see that's just smoothing out a little bit faster. It's not going to get rid of all of this lumpiness, but it's certainly going to get us a ways there. So you can sort of see how I'm working here. Now, this is not the best part of this 